Hi, I'm Dr. Kathan Badani in New York. This is a video on the low anterior retroperitoneal single port access. This has been a very uh, popular topic and one of the key things that you need to learn in order to do low anterior access with single port robotics. And so uh, I tried my best uh, to put a video together, short and sweet, that ki kind of hits the salient points uh, for this for this uh, very versatile access. So this is an incision that is approximately three centimeters that's made between the anterior superior iliac spine and the umbilicus about one-third away from the anterior superior iliac spine as you can see here. Again the patient is supine with a little bit of a bump and you see we're about one-third um, laterally here. And that's uh, where the incision is at the end in the supine position. So essentially what I'm going to show you is a layer by layer view of how I do this. So I marked out the exact same spot I showed you in the, the slides earlier and uh, in the direction of the hip. And so we have marked out one third away from the hip, two thirds from the umbilicus, and I'll make my three centimeter, maybe three and a half centimeter incision and go through the subcutaneous tissues, including scarpas. This is external oblique fascia. And once you have external oblique fascia, then you can uh, make a small incision into it and grab it with cokers. Little small tip, you can skive towards the kidney a little so that your skin incision and your fascial incision is a little bit staggered towards your target organ. Uh, helps with uh, instruments coming in and out. We're just talking millimeters here. It's not a lot, of, a lot of distance. So cutting external oblique fascia, splitting the external muscle. This is internal oblique fascia, second layer. And grabbing that. And what we want to do is, again, split the muscle. Most of this incision is muscle splitting. Every so often, you have to cut a little bit just to release it. You see the internal fibers. We're going to use the retractors to just split the muscle apart. And you can use S retractors, you can use Army Navies as seen here, uh, whatever works. And once we split the muscle apart, you want to have, like I said, about three centimeters of space <clears throat> for all the ports to go in. This is a true single port access, so we don't have any additional ports uh, in the abdomen or the retroperitoneal space, no plus ones. And here you're going to see the transversalis and the peritoneum separation. So this is exactly the, the sweet spot here. Peritoneum on the left, transversalis on the right, and that is the plane. And you see I'm pointing towards the hip. You see that nicely right there with the bottom part of that. <clears throat> and that's peritoneum. So if you push in and go straight down, you will get into the peritoneum. What you have to do is put your finger in the space and go to the hip. See my finger going to the hip and then sweeping the space open. And then you rotate and, and bring it all medially. So you're pulling the peritoneum and sweeping it medially. Now I'll get my second finger and just roll it. And essentially what you're feeling, and I'm going to show you in a second, is you're feeling for the psoas muscle. And you should feel it right underneath you. So as you're pulling the peritoneum medially, you should be feeling the psoas muscle. And that's really all you need to do from an access standpoint. So if you look inside, you see me pulling all of that fat and peritoneum medially, and there's psoas muscle. And that's enough space to now be able to dock the single port system and do the operation. So here the internal ring of the access port is going into the space. And we'll slide down the external ring. Let's take a quick look inside. That's retroperitoneal fat. We know we're in the right space. That's exactly what you want to see. We'll slide down the external ring, roll it down, and this ring will keep the peritoneum to the side now, right? And that's, that's the view. Now we can dock the robot. And that's it for the low anterior single port access. And whether you're doing the right side or the left side, it's exactly the same landmarks, it's exactly the same room. 
And so we're insufflating, putting our space in, and we can dock the robot and, and come on in and start the operation. And obviously, if you want to see the actual low anterior axis partial nephrectomy, uh, check out the other videos on the YouTube channel, and you'll be able to see these in uh, various forms. So with that, I want to thank you. Hopefully this was helpful for you.